Hello everyone, this is Jill of Jill Norwood Designs. Welcome back to my channel and welcome into my second sneak peek for my release of Jill's Joyful Heart stamp sets with Peachy Keen stamps. I'm releasing these under the umbrella of Peachy Keen and uh, with D Kathy and Dave Jakopovich of the wonderful company Peachy Keen stamps. Um, I'm so grateful to both of them. And uh, I just, I'm going to do a preview today of this second stamp set. This is JN02, and it's called Snow Angel Stamp Set. And uh, such a sweet little stamp set. I'll go over it more in a few moments. Um, let me set that aside, and I'm going to dive in and just show you all the products that I used to create what I'm going to show you today. So I use this Wintertime Crafts stamp set. This is one that I purchased and shared with you all last year. This was an Amazon purchase. I know many of you picked it up. And this is a great background um, set of little stamps you can use on your Christmas cards, um, Christmas tags, or, you know, a lot of them aren't Christmas related, so you could use them different times of the year. But some of them are winter related, as you can see. So, um, but this is a great little set that was on Amazon. I don't know if it's still available. I use that from um, Debbie's store, Paper Sweeties. This is a very old stamp set of sentiments that are related to Christmas. And I use this at Christmas All Hearts Come Home uh, stamp. I love that. Um, and then from my creative time, I use this Angel Kisses stamp set. That's the name of it right there. It was released in November of 2023. And uh, this is all uh, sentiments related to angels. And these came out with uh, Emma's beautiful snowman angel dies. And uh, I helped her design a little bit um, on that die set. And uh, I love this sentiment set. So I used that. And then I used from her paper um, pads, I used the creative My Creative Time Gingerbread Kisses paper pad. Um, and then I also used the Maha Designs Woodland Christmas. This is from uh, Frantic Stamper, and uh, she carries the papers from Sweden. They are from Sweden, and this is the Woodland Christmas set. I've, I've shared that with you before. And then I also used this Winter Knits paper pad. This is a paper pad that was from Your Next Stamp. Your Next Stamp went out of business in October of 2023. They're no longer with us, but I love knit paper pads. And I believe Impression Obsession also has a knit paper pad available in their store at 50% off right now. But um, knit papers are perfect for doing sweaters, and that's why I pulled that out. Um, and then for the die sets that I used, I used this Ginger Accessories MCT D436 from My Creative Time, her Holly Plate die from My Creative Time. I used the Christmas um, Charms die sets in some of my projects, um, specifically this little mug I used. I cut it down just slightly um, to make it work on my tag. I used some of her little tag dies. I used her... Um, this is her uh, cute card dies, so kind of like a mini slimline card die set. I used some of those with the stitching. I used her square tag die set, um, and I didn't show this yesterday, but these are the, the square tag dies that I've used to add tags to my cards and uh, to my tags. Um, so it's a little tag added to a big tag, if you will. And then I created my big tags with her pretty scallop tall tag dies, as well as the tall stitching dies. And these come both plain and stitched and with the scallops. So beautiful sets from my creative time. And then from my sweet friend, Anna White. Hi, Anna. Um, I use this die set, which is her um, crazy stitch set. I believe this is already sold out at I.O., but remember, I.O. is closing their shop. Um, Mitra is closing down Impression Obsession, so blessings to her as she starts um, her retirement or new endeavors. And uh, this die set, I believe, is already sold out, but it's one of my favorites. But Anna has lots of dies still in stock, at least she did the last time I looked, so be sure and go take a look at their closing sale. And then Penny Black, this is their um, zigzag stacker stitched set. There's the information right there. And uh, I love this set. So I used that too. And then from Trinity Stamps, I also used one of their open um, scallop rectangle dies. All right. And then uh, last but not least, um, for stamp sets, I used LOTV's Christmas Hexi stamp set. This is the digital as well as the Christmas Image Tag stamp set. And these are two new sets. These were released a couple weeks ago in Polymer. Those have pretty much all sold, as far as I know. They're no longer on the website. But you can still get the digital versions of these. And what's nice is you just hit print, and you have a whole page full of sentiments. 
So I did use both of these. And if you're interested in buying the digitals, you can use my discount code Jill10 to save 10%. Same with my creative time. Um, I have a code and all of my codes are in the drop down menu on my um, video. So if you go to the more section and click it, there's a drop down menu that'll open on this YouTube video and it will give you all the information about discount codes that are currently available. Okay. And then the last couple things that I used um, are inks. Um, and I do like to share those because I sometimes get questions. I did use Copic markers also, but I didn't bring those in. Um, these, this is a dye ink from Paper Train called Aqua Mist. I stamped all the images in Memento Tuxedo Black. That's a staple for me. Um, I love the Memento ink line for when you're stamping images. Um, I use Distress Ink Vintage Photo to edge things, and I also use some Rustic Wilderness. Um, to stamp snowflakes. Both of these were used to stamp different things. So um, those are the inks that I used, and uh, I showed you all of the um, all of the products I used, and now I'm going to show you the, the stamp set, and we'll get into that. Um, so uh, this is the stamp set. Again, the images on the front are smaller than what they are on the back of the set. The set is completely full, and uh, I, it is a four and a quarter inch um, stamp. It is made very simple for paper piecing and uh, to make it easy to cut out. Um, I talked about this in yesterday's video, but I will say it again. I, I like clean images without that white edge. So I'm not a big fan of dyes unless they cut right up to the edge of the image. And I know that um, you can make them that way, but um, for right now, I specifically made these so that they would be very easy to cut out. So the lines are very clean on the image. Um, and you can see that even better on the stamp itself. It's a very easy stamp to cut out. And uh, this image is made to have the, the star, the tree, or the heart be an emblem on the front of the sweater if you want. And then you can stamp within these images, you can stamp the word love, peace, or joy. There's a little halo for the top of her head or a bow. This little um, crisscross kind of tree right here is made to just add a design. You can also use it in the center of the sweater with, with the tiny snowflake on top. Um, there's an extra snowflake, two different sizes so you can create backgrounds. There's um, sentiments, cozy Christmas wishes, oh Christmas tree, joy to the world, and angel blessings to you. And, uh, and then there's a little... Um, stamp here that creates an edge to the scarf. Um, so a little bobble trim stamp, if you will, that you can stamp at the edge of the scarf to add the trim. And then this is a tree that the snowman can hold in its hand. And the projects I'm going to show you will illustrate all of this. Okay, so that's the stamp. It's JN-02 Snow Angel Stamp Set. And again, it will be available at Peachy Keen Stamps under my Jill's Joyful Heart line. Okay, and uh, to start with, I wanted to show you that you can also just make this into a snowman. So it doesn't have to be a snow angel. You can cut the wings off very easily and uh, just create um, a really cute snow girl or uh, primitive snowman, if you will. And uh, I added a cup of hot cocoa. And the way I did that was I cut around the arms and kind of ruched them up a little bit by folding them. And then where the arms sit down here, I added a piece of paper behind and colored it green, just like this coloring on the main part. And then I drew some little lines to make pockets. And that covered up the holes where the arms were and allowed me to pop the arms up with a cup of hot cocoa. So that's how I did that. It's very easy to do. Um, and uh, you can uh, see how I used the little image to create the decoration on her clothing. This is colored just with red and green Copic markers. I think this is pistachio and I think this is R, um, I want to say it's R32 or R29. I can't remember. Um, and then I just added some stitching with a black gel pen. I added white dots onto the center of the snowflakes with a gel pen. I drew a little, tried to draw a little snowflake in the center of the cup there. Um, because I didn't have my white ink handy to stamp the snowflake. But you'd probably have better luck embossing a snowflake with a tiny snowflake stamp to make that look better. Um, and then this is Hot Cocoa 5 Cents. This uh, little tag is from Lily of the Valley. It's from that Christmas sentiment tag set that I showed you. So just a digital one that I cut out and then colored with my Copic markers. And then I did hand cut a little uh, set of earmuffs to add to the top of her head. 
Um, instead of using the halo or the bowl, I just made a little set of earmuffs by hand cutting them. So this is just an adorable little Christmas tag. The embossing folder in the background is from Tailored Expressions. It's a snowflake embossing folder that I bought many years ago from them. And then I love this beautiful, pretty scallop tag from Emma. So that's um, the, the tag. And then I wanted to show you, I cut her angel wings off. And these stamp sets are somewhat interchangeable in that you can take the wings from the snowman and you could definitely add them to the ginger. So I just thought I would show you that. Someone was asking about angel wings for the gingerbread girl and uh, I did these two sets together so that you can take the wings. Lots of these things would be interchangeable. You could definitely um, you know, use some of the things that are in this set to decorate, like you could use this stamp to decorate her apron, for example. So uh, they're definitely sets that will work well together and I wanted to mention that also. So um, that is regarding the wings and uh, cutting them off and using the stamp sets differently. And then let's keep going. So uh, one of the things that I love is making snow angels in the winter time. And this is a really sweet um, snow angel card where um, I just stamped her onto watercolor paper and I colored her just with Copics and stamping. So this is stamped with a little black gel pen dot in there. And then um, I cut around the watercolor cardstock loosely to make it look like she had just made a snow angel. And then I added the sentiment snow angel kisses from the snowman, uh, from the angel set I showed you from my creative time. I just added some embossed uh, glitter cardstock behind to make it look wintry. Um, and a little tiny flag of gingham paper from that gingham paper pad from My Creative Time. You can see how the tree looks um, on the front of the sweater. And I just added some little dots in there um, and colored the star yellow. And, uh, and then on the inside, this says, You're a Blessing to Me, which is one of the sentiments from My Creative Time. And then on the back, I added this cute Have a Cool Yule Hexy um, sentiment tag from Lily of the Valley. So just a really fun um, snow angel card. I love how that one turned out. And then, of course, I had to make a snow angel tag also. So I did the same thing, only this time I paper, instead of coloring with Copics and stamping, I paper pieced with just some red cardstock and uh, that knit paper pad from, uh, from uh, Your Next Stamp that's uh, no longer available. But again, there are lots of knit paper pads. I think even Lawn Fawn has some knit papers that you could use. Um, but again, I cut it out to make it look like she had made a snow angel. And then I did add diamond stickles around that part that is the snow to make it look like a snow angel. And then I used the embossing folder that says joy. This is what's in the background of the tag. And I cut around the word joy to make this little joy tag to hang from the, the, um, the uh, tie that I put on in red yarn. And then on the back, it says snow angel kisses. So just a really sweet tag also. And then I have two more things to show you really quick. I did this card here that says angel blessings to you. And this one is all <clears throat> in paper pieced in that Maha Designs papers um, in the greens. And I love how this turned out. And then I used a darker shade of green just to highlight the sweater and gloves a little bit more. This is the color pistachio from Copic Markers. And then uh, these are the beautiful papers in the background. And then this embossing folder I didn't bring up. This was just an embossed panel I had in my stash. And so I just added a little bit of um, uh, distress ink to it and uh, thought it added so much to the background of this because she should have a snowy background behind her. And then inside it says, may there always be an angel by your side, which is from that My Creative Time stamp set. And then this beautiful piece is um, one of the hexy sentiments from that Lily of the Valley set. And then I added a little piece of holly from the My Creative Time holly plate. And then this is that um, this is that uh, open rectangle scallop um, die, which is from Trinity Stamps. So love how this turned out. And this beautiful hunter green paper is from Paper Tray Ink. And then um, this is another card, my last one. I wasn't going to show this card. I was going to do it over, but I ran out of time. And uh, this one's a little bit crooked, but I don't care. And uh, this is um, that little tree stamped uh, on over her hand, if you will. So you get all everything ready, and then you stamp this around the hand after you get it all done um, and onto your card. And uh, that, that way she's carrying the tree. I did the star on this one with the word joy. I added a piece on earth, Lily of the Valley, um, little hexy sentiment. And then you can see how I added a few bits of green just around this to kind of create a triangle so that your eye moves through the card. And then this is that stamp set from Amazon in the background with some of the snowflakes from my stamp set. 
And uh, inside this one, it has that uh, paper sweetie sentiment at Christmas, all hearts come home. That's one of my favorite sentiments about Christmas. I think we all love to be home for Christmas if we can. And then on the back is this cute little snowman image tag from Lily of the Valley again. So um, these are all of my projects, my dear ones. And uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing this beautiful stamp set, this lovely little snow angel. Um, I had so much fun making projects for you, both as snow angels, but also, of course, as just snow ladies. Um, I just think these turn out so cute. And I love the beautiful face, uh, which is, of course, a peachy peachy keen face that Emma, I actually drew a face and this is the drawing that I did, but um, Kathy always makes it look better. <laughs> so a big thank you to Kathy. Um, and I just am so appreciative of all of her help with these sets that I'm bringing out. Um, I'm learning a lot still and uh, I hope that you guys enjoy um, this release as much as I have had fun learning how to do it and bring bringing these products to you. Um, thank you so much for tuning into this video and for looking at uh, my release. I will be back with a release video tomorrow morning um, on Saturday to show all of my projects in their entirety and both stamp sets together. And they will release at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time at Peachy Keen Stamps. I hope you will join me. Thank you so much to everybody for your sweet comments on yesterday's sneak peek video. Um, and to everyone in this community, I just appreciate all of you so very much. All right. Bye now. See you tomorrow morning.